de nuevo al aire. Esto es increíble lo que estamos viviendo, amigos, porque tenemos eh, talentos, tenemos expertos, tenemos gente maravillosa que nos está acompañando en este congreso, el congreso de este año 2021 de la Asociación Internacional de Medicina Alternativa y Ancestral. Eh, me acompañan en este momento eh, Joana eh, Vega, que es eh, doctora en Ayurveda y otras eh, ciencias eh, de medicina, eh, que nos va a, a contar sobre su participación en este congreso. Y también Gaya Estepania, la presidente de IAM. Gaya, estamos de lujo con estos invitados increíbles que nos estás trayendo. Y bueno, eh, ansiosos ya de escuchar eh, a, a Joana sobre esta increíble participación. Bienvenidas las dos, ¿cómo están? Aquí que vamos a ir un poquito en Spanglish para que puedan seguirnos. That's English right. And Spanish speakers, we're going Spanglish here. Because <laughs> we are, well, we are, first of all, we're Latino, but uh, we want to cater to all the audiences. I know there's many people listening to us right now. They're uh, from Miami, from Latin America. We welcome you. And so we're going to be doing back and forth. Estamos yendo y viniendo inglés y español. Así que, welcome, Gaya. You want to uh, introduce us uh, Uh, Johanna, and uh, a little bit of uh, details on, on what's coming on September the 22nd. So it has been a wonderful journey. We are going on our second year of the International Association of Alternative and Ancient Medicine. This time last year, we hosted our first annual IAM conference, and we had well over, I think, 20, well over 20 speakers in both English and in Spanish, and we are going again this year for our second annual conference. And we have a wonderful group of speakers, including Joana Vega. Dr. Joana Vega is doctor of Ayurvedic medicine. She's also a yogi, and um, she also practices practices biomagnetism and many other things. Um, and so Joana and I met through the wonderful, wonderful web, you know, through social media, in a shared introduction with one of our I am officers. Flavia Sierra, who serves as vice president for the IM, and, um, and she made this wonderful introduction. And so we absolutely encourage everyone to help us grow this community of alternative and ancient medicine practitioners um, through the IM. And so Joanna is going to be speaking at this second conference. Uh, Joanna, tell us, tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us, uh, cuéntanos sobre ti y sobre lo que vas a hablar. Well, first of all, I want to thank you guys, uh, the organization, for the invitation to participate in this conference. I find it really, really important. The subject of this year is really important, um, not only for all the issues that we've been through since last year, but I think um, this will mark also a starting point of where we're going forward as a community, as a um, citizens of the world. So this is going to apply for many, many people, different ages and genders, and um, doesn't matter where you're from or who you are. Um, at some point, uh, depression is something that touches somebody's life. Um, and I think the key, the important key of this conference is to bring this awareness, but mostly the understanding um, on top of the solutions, the tips, the the protocols or all the techniques that people can use as a toolbox to just heal and trying to deal with these issues. The awareness and the understanding for me are key. And I think this is a beautiful, beautiful um, job you guys are doing. So thank you. <laughs> so, uh, so much curiosity on, on your journey. Uh, you were a former Uh, TV producer, radio, you were in the show business as I, I, I was. So I wanted to know how, how was your, that transformation or that, um, uh, you know, shift, I would call it, to, to your uh, studies in medicine, Ayurvedic, and all, all of this. Uh, de nuevo, en español, ¿cómo ha sido te, esta transformación de tu trabajo, no? Después de la televisión y la radio, ahora hacia estas ciencias de, de la medicina ancestral, ¿no? Ayurvedica y todo esto. Bueno, para hacerlo resumido, eh, primero que lo que es la parte de la medicina en general, lo que es la biología humana, siempre fue una atracción para mí y por motivos eh, eventualmente de adolescencia, pues decidí o, el, o la vida me llevó a, a irme por el lado de las ciencias de las comunicaciones. 
Eh, de ahí emprendí mi profesión como productora a lo largo de todos estos años y todavía ejerzo esa carrera, lo cual me brindó la oportunidad de trabajar en muchos sectores de la medicina y eh, lidiar con muchas organizaciones con las que he podido trabajar, por ejemplo, con el, eh, la Organización Mundial de la Salud, de la cual eh, pude hacer campañas de comunicación, de, de, de mensajes de alerta hacia, a, a nivel global sobre eh, asuntos o, o enfermedades, situaciones por las que se han pasado. Entonces, eh, de ahí pues surge todavía una necesidad más eh, intensa de profundizar en el ámbito de la salud desde una forma más holística, por decirlo así, más completa. Y eh, me introduzco en lo que es eh, empezando por el yoga y de ahí sigo mi recorrido a las ciencias védicas que en realidad eh, separadas podemos mencionarlas, el yoga, la ayurveda, pero yo lo que practico más que todo son las, la sanación védica, o sea que utilizo las ciencias védicas, eh, en, específicamente el yoga como terapia, el ayurveda como eh, medicina y el vedanta como parte de lo que es una filosofía eh, de psicología, pero a un nivel un poquito más avanzado, más profundo porque tiene que ver con, con otros niveles de conciencia. Ok. okay. Uh, bueno, no sé si Gaya quiere tra <ríe> eh, traducirle a la gente o, o yeah, continuamos. Sí. Sure. Yeah. So, so, one of the things that we're doing at this conference is we're going to focus this year on depression and healing depression because, you know, as Joanna well said, you know, not only because of all these situations that we're facing and all these changes and challenges that the world has, has been, but also because it marks a period of sort of, you know, okay, from here, where do we go? Right? How do we move forward? And so what, what we aim to do through this conference, and certainly Joanna through her talk, um, is to give people tools so that we can move forward, despite whatever's going on around us. How do we look at the world? How do we develop a different state of consciousness, which she so wonderfully has trained all these years in, in, um, Ayurvedic, in Ayurvedic science? Yo yes? Yeah. And so she's, uh, she's a yogi. She began her, her journey in yoga. I did one of, one of the first things that I did was actually biomagnetism, but then that led me to yoga and a holistic yoga in the ancient tradition. And so, you know, I remember one day, you know, in my training with yoga and my teacher, who was a, a, um, a Hindu nun, uh, she she saw me coughing. I had a bronchitis and I was just coughing and coughing and coughing and I couldn't stop. And she just went over into the kitchen, grabbed some cardamom and some cloves. And she's like, here, chew on these. And within 30 seconds, my cough stopped. And so these are the kinds of things that, you know, I'm sure Joanna, you know, has a wealth of knowledge in how, you know, Ayurveda and this Ayurvedic science you do using different tools. She was explaining how really from a more, Um, psychological perspective, but from a more higher consciousness perspective, she helps people heal. And so what a privilege to have you join us in this year's conference to help, you know, others heal through the dep dep depression with all of this wonderful wealth of knowledge. Because ultimately, our healing is not just about the physical body, it really is, as Joanna knows, and is going to share, it's about, you know, our entire being the physical, the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual energetic. And so, you know, Kike, you, you know this, you know, well, too. I mean, you've, you've interviewed, I don't know, thousands of people probably by now, you know, as Joanna has with her show as well, you know, producing shows and, and having, you know, um, supported um, campaigns for the World Health Organization. Um, we just want to want to hear more, definitely want to learn more. Yeah. So we, uh, we work with emotions, basically, because, you know, the arts and uh, we just love uh, talking to people and learning about their creative uh, process whenever we would interview some artists, no? But now it's all about this uh, common thing that we all, all as humans have, and we, we need to, like, focus in, on that well-being. Right now, it's like, to me, it's like the most exciting thing. I love music, but just the fact that we can all achieve that 
wellness, that happiness uh, with all this knowledge is incredible. So I wanted to ask you to, to or yeah, to, perhaps you can give us some hint on, on your presentation, this upcoming Absolutely. Congress, because depression, I, I, I guess this has been approached since the ancients, no? And uh, the way the, the people, the, the, the Eastern philosophies or Eastern medicine has looked at things is very different than the Western. So what can you tell us about your presentation and how to approach this, I would say, um, the, the most important illness, we would say, of, of this era? And she's going to do it in English and in Spanish. So she's yes. going to be presenting in both languages. But vas a presentar en inglés y en español. Así es que super. Y a solicitud de, de varias personas, pues sí, lo, lo tendré que hacer de ambos idiomas. Super. Sí. Bueno, eh, la explicación, ¿cómo la quieren? ¿En español o en, en, en inglés? We're going to Spanish. So. Ok. <laughs> so let, me, let me say it in English just so, you know, we have a little variety there. So the presentation, well, um, I found important to just make a very quick um, introduction of why Ayurveda is, because believe it or not, maybe the name of the science is heard by many people, but is not well known. For so many people who, it, it kind of reaches to this or finds this on the web, they come to me and say, oh, this is a new, a new technique or what is this? And it's actually a science developed 5,000 years ago. So it's very ancient, originated in India and um, it's very complex. And it's, um, we can say in the Ayurvedic world that is one of the basis of all medicine, the origin of medicine itself, even the um, Western or, or allopathic medicine because uh, the proximity of India with the Greek, that's how you know everything started from that point of the Ayurveda when Ayurveda start sharing um, all these um, um, rishis that are called or the founders, the fathers of Ayurveda uh, start sharing with um, all their neighbors around India. So that will be like a small introduction for people to get familiar. And then, um, as you notice in the title, I didn't, of, of the conference, of, of my presentation, I didn't um, really say uh, too much about Ayurveda uh, healing depression. I just call it Ayurveda and the mind because it's important to understand cer certain um, concepts. And we're going to talk about um, different states of mind. Or what is mind? Um, what exactly um, is mind coming from? It's not just what the brain is creating. It's a whole relationship of our human body with our external environment in every level. So that's very important to understand certain concepts and then understanding what depression is and where it can come from because there's many, many, many emotions that can develop uh, depression. And if people are aware of this, they can tackle maybe certain stresses or issues in the, you know, in their lives, uh, in their relationship with others, in their relationships with themselves, very important. Once we start getting that understanding, they can heal or they can start using all the tools that they're gonna be brought in this conference, all these techniques that people are gonna be talking through, I think is gonna be very important once people understand these concepts, how to apply them more effectively. So that's more or less what the conference is going to be about, or the presentation is going to be about. Así es que Ayurveda y la mente, ¿no? Es, es básicamente lo que vas a estar presentando, este, porque como bien lo has dicho, hay muchas emociones que nos llevan a un estado depresivo. Y a través de estas ciencias, ¿no? Que, que vas a presentar tú y los otros este, presentadores en el Congreso, este, desde estas herramientas podemos ir como desfragmentando las piezas que han contribuido al desarrollo de una depresión en la persona, que hay personas que han, han estado deprimidas quizás casi toda la vida, no es que quizás es más reciente. Entonces es ver que, que, cuáles son las raíces. Cuando podemos entender las raíces, 
podemos sanar. Lo que sabemos que una, un antidepresivo nunca va a curar una depresión, quizás va a crear un estado de entumecimiento, right? Uh, and psychotropic meds, what they do is they create numbness. They don't cure a depression. But with these wonderful tools that you're going to be presenting and others are going to be presenting, you know, we're going to give real tools to be able to understand the roots. And when we get to the roots, then we can really solve the problem. And then we don't need any psychotropic meds, which ultimately really kind of damage the mind. So we're excited. We're very excited. So Johanna, I, I, I assume I'm, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but you're going to be touching the, the topics of, of the nature of, Uh, I know there's like a, there's a specification on your, I forget the name, but you, you have the doshas and all this type of bodies of the type that you have. So that's also, that has also a connection with your, your mood, your, your emotions. Exactly. Is that right? Exactly. Because um, the principles of Ayurveda, they go beyond um, what is, you know, obvious to the physical body or to the eye, to the naked eye. What we do is to access um, a timeline on people. So certain emotions are codifications that are um, impregnated in people's DNAs even before conception, because there's many factors, even during conception or before when the mother and father um, join together, And I'm telling you factors like the weather, the place they used to live, uh, the situation of the place where they were, the economy, social issues, everything will affect the future human being that they're going to procreate. So all these details, uh, when a person starts analyzing themselves, which is a beautiful journey when you do or an assessment or you do some Ayurvedic study on yourself, is pretty much a self-knowledge. And it's something that is not really thought to us. We never, you know, were um, even motivated to look back so much. And we were um, trained in a way or programmed in a way throughout the years about how to fit into society. So when you look back, um, a lot of issues that maybe weren't understood during childhood or in your teenage years, they start making sense <clears throat> because you start understanding certain um, maybe behaviors of others, your parents, friends, family, you start understanding human beings. And once you start understanding their nature, <clears throat> why people are the way they are, why some people are more violent, some people are not really that Uh, motivated. Some people are really hyperactivated. Why? When you start understanding this, it starts making sense to you and you start healing all wounds. You start healing all traumas. You start healing your mind or your physical mind. And here's when we talk about the three levels of mind. It's just the physical, there's the mental, and there's the spiritual. So we are mine all the way up, many, many layers. Qué interesante. Yo no sabía que, que básicamente que durante el momento de concepción hasta el clima y la temperatura del ambiente influye en nuestra personalidad y nuestra, o sea, quiénes somos hoy en día. Fascinante. Yo creo que por eso la gente del Caribe es más alegre. Yo creo que sí, la, el ambiente es tiene mucho que, que ver. Llamamos la homeostasis. La homeostasis es la adaptabilidad del cuerpo físico a nivel celular para adaptarse a ciertas condiciones. Y cuando estamos hablando de procrear, a la hora de la fecundación hay muchos, muchos, muchos movimientos, muchos cambios que van a eh, pues codificar ese ser humano y eso queda, ese es nuestra, nuestro sello como individual, individuos, personas únicas por cada minuto o segundo desde la creación y obviamente factores después, el, viene todo el embarazo, el parto, la, dole, el, el, la infancia, la adolescencia, hasta en el momento en que llegamos a ser adultos y ahí vienen todas las incógnitas que cuando uno ve para atrás y hace su línea del tiempo y empieza a entender 
su relación con uno mismo, con el medio ambiente, con la existencia misma, ahí es donde crea uno ya paz en, para uno mismo. Ahí la sanación es donde se origina. Pues increíble, ah. estamos llegando a ustedes en, 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 en forma bilingüe porque pues somos... Los tres somos latinos, pero vivimos en Estados Unidos. El caso es que estamos invitando, porque la IAM es una organización internacional que ojalá muy pronto tenga, pues tiene miembros de Latinoamérica y de, y de Estados Unidos. Estamos invitando a, a realmente todo el mundo, ¿no? Queremos más gente de, de todos los países y todos los idiomas. Así que muy pronto tendremos portugués y, y francés, italiano, todo esto, porque queremos ser una organización mundial. Eh, pues, Joana, eh, cuéntame. Háblanos un poquito de tu día a día, tu operación. Eh, veo que tienes, pues, tienes presencia en las redes sociales y, y haces consultas a distancia también. Sí, bueno, obviamente desde el año pasado hice la adaptación en línea, así que mis clases de yoga, eh, mis consultas de Ayurveda, algunas ya aquí en Florida, en Miami, las estoy haciendo en persona, pero eh, sí las estoy haciendo eh, en de hecho, mi Instagram es eh, Joana Vega Vida Vera, exacto. Entonces ahí tengo eh, algunas. Uh, ese es el personal. Oh, ok. Sí. <risa> Vamos a buscarlo entonces. Es el Joana Vega Vida Vera. Aquí está. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Y, eh, Porque pues, te veía eh, con muchos artistas también. Sí, esa es mi parte de producción, de productora. <risa> vale, <risa> vale. Entonces tengo pues eh, los jueves un programita de entrevistas para hablar de temas de salud, de diferentes puntos de vista, eh, doy algunas charlas, <coughs> clases máster, eh, o sea lo que es todo un, un conjunto de información de diferentes eh, técnicas y, y, y bueno, y pequeñas herramientas que regalo también ahí en, en mis páginas, especialmente en mi, en mi Instagram. Tengo el yoga en cinco minutos, eh, tengo ahora un segmentito, un, un vivo que hago brevemente que se llama Pranayama con Joana para aprender a respirar, eh, etc. Entonces es un servicio completo. Bueno, fantástico, aquí estamos viendo. Todos tus, todos tus posts y, y bueno, muy activa en las redes también y, y orgullosamente eh, pues miembro de IAM, de nuestra organización. Entonces eh, ya por ser parte ¿no? de, de los congresos y, y de toda esta posibilidad, pues ojalá pronto también te tengamos por acá haciendo, haciendo programas, Joana. Un honor, un honor sería. Exacto. Entonces, eh, la invitación está servida, amigos. Eh, lo que estamos viendo, o sea, eh, a medida que vamos conociendo más y más de los participantes, pues es todos estos conocimientos y saberes que, que muchas veces se asume que la gente sabe, pero como dices tú, Joana, no son de, de, del dominio popular, ¿no? Entonces, a veces tenemos que salirnos nosotros de nuestro, también de nuestra zona de confort y empezar desde cero, empezar a decirle a la gente, la gente muchas veces no relaciona su, su estado anímico con, por ejemplo, su, su, su naturaleza, ¿no? su, su humor, todo esto, eh, ni con lo que veíamos en el programa anterior, su, su nutrición o factores externos o también pues, factores de, de tipo ancestral, de linaje, todas estas cosas. Entonces es una comprensión holística de, de lo que es la salud. Por eso es que estamos en esta iniciativa de traer todos estos conocimientos con estos congresos que resumen de alguna manera todo lo que es posible presentar sobre un tema. Y en este caso, bueno, la depresión, como decimos, o el mal de, la, de, de, de esta era, ¿no? Porque la gente, ante tanta incertidumbre, tanta, no sé, tanto miedo difundido que hay por ahí, pues tiende pues, a, a estar así, como, como, como lo que hemos decidido hablar en esta ocasión. Así que, Gaya, eh, pues de lujo, de lujo lo que estamos experimentando acá y, y no, bueno, ese, ese congreso increíble, hay que nada más por, por escuchar pues a, a estas ponencias, eh, ya, ya estamos eh, con un muy muy buen eh, programa, diría, para, para dejar, para asimilar y aplicar ¿no? a, a, a lo que es nuestra vida. Así que muy contento con, con todo esto que está pasando. Again, the conference is going to be held in English and in Spanish and we have Uh, you know, experts like Joana Vega, who's going to be presenting in both languages. 
uh, Kike is going to be going in both languages. I'm going to be going in both languages and, and many others. And so this is a wonderful opportunity to be able to learn different tools, whether you are going through a rough time right now or whether you are a practitioner and would like to learn how other tools, other areas of alternative and ancient medicine are helping to you know, combat depression and helping to identify and help heal from the root depression, then we invite you to join, participate. It's going to be September 22nd to 26th. We're going to be rolling out different talks on different days. And on day, on Sunday, the 26th, we are going to host a uh, virtual panel discussion with our experts so that we can answer questions. You can, you know, um, ask them personal questions of what's going on with you. And we're going to be answering and have some discussion there. So it's going to be very interactive and um, register at imiaam.net slash event. And we look forward to seeing you there. Los esperamos pronto. Eh, pueden inscribirse en iaam.net este, en la página de IAM, donde pueden registrarse para el Congreso y escuchar a Joana y a muchos más en el Congreso. Los esperamos y gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Gracias, Joana, por tu participación, gracias. por integrarte a esta familia de I am. Este, and thank you, Kike, for, for running this, this channel on the I am show. Un placer y un honor. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here uh, doing what we love. So we look forward to having you, Joana, more often. And thank to you, you all, uh, just register because it's going to be a major, a major change. It's going to bring you something very, very important in your life. So we hope to see you there. And until the next presentation, see you in a bit. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Feliz día para todos. Que estén muy bien. Hasta luego. Chao, chao.